Hey everyone, Jason here with STS. Today I'm going to do a really quick demonstration on screw sizes and long screw damage to an iPhone 6 PCB. What you see in front of you is two different screws. We have on the right, we have the right screw and on the left, we have the long screw. Get it? Long screw, wrong screw. Here is our iPhone 6 PCB and then here is the proper screw going into that hole. It's a lot more difficult to do this without the plate on top. So to see how the screw goes in there tight, it goes in, it goes all the way down, it goes in nice and flush. And that is the proper screw. Now, you can see that the screw is just about as deep as the screw hole. Let's see what happens whenever we do the wrong screw. As you can see, the screw is not a, a whole lot different. The head is, is much different, but the, um, the shaft is the part that matters. And here's what happens when we put the wrong screw in the same hole. You get to the bottom and you reach a point right here. I can feel it start to snug up a little bit. Now it doesn't take much pressure at all. Let's go ahead and do what anybody would do. They're going to go ahead and tighten the screw down. We'll tighten this down very slowly. Let me get it straightened up. And here we go. See the screw hole actually start to pull away from the board. So it's not actually the screw itself that does the damage. Keep in mind no PCBs died making this video. Here's what happens when you use the right screw. And here's what happens when you use the long screw. Now you'll see if you've ever used a pulley puller to pull a pulley off of a shaft, this is the same forces at play here. So let's go ahead and let's tighten this thing down real good. We're going to tighten this display shield down so good. And here we go. Here is your bottom left hole iPhone 6 long screw damage. It is a nasty, nasty wound. Now let's look and see what that looks like under the microscope. As you can see, what's happened here is it's actually, it pulls apart the layers of the PCB. It's not necessarily right where the screw hits the board that gets damaged. It's the pulling apart of the PCB. And you can see that that top layer and maybe even you can see right there part of the next layer under it coming up as well. This would be really severe long screw damage. I don't see them always like hardly ever see them this severe but they're, they're pretty damn close. And then to repair this you're looking at removing the screw hole and then peeling these layers of board apart like peeling the layer of the PCB apart and then reconnecting the traces that are underneath. So it's, it's, it's a really big deal. And let's just go ahead and, for science, let's tear up this board. So there you have it. Sometimes these things will come in with the screw holes ripped all the way off like this. And, you know, that, that's a really big mess. And you wind up with, since the, the board was pulled on so hard, um, you wind up with a lot of stuff pulled loose. And the damage isn't isolated right here to just the tip of the screw. You wind up with traces coming from all over the place that get pulled loose. So um, there you have it. We're not fixing anything today, we're breaking something today. But there is up close in person, bottom left hole, iPhone 6, long screw damage. Have a good day everybody. Thanks for watching.